if you're with me, where you at? Notification squad, where you at? Make sure you click that check mark box so you can be notified of my content when it's first uploaded. If not, we coming for you, nigga! What is up, Nola squad? I'm Nola God. Welcome to episode one of My Rise. Let's get it. Finally, the time has come. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's going to be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out. Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Are right, we going to skip this. We're we going to skip this. So the character I plan to make for this My Rise is an old character of mine named Jin Yuri. I also, well, I call him the mystical Jin Yuri. I made him back in, like, WWE 13. So this is it. And a few games Day afterwards. Training at the WWE here we go. Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that. What are you doing? Well, you is. You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just checking out the facility. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? I broke in. The guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Well, she's strict. God damn. Early retirement. You gonna t lay the man off? All right, stick up for security. Blame the security guard. Let's stick up for the guy. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He uh definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Whoa. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. Hi. Well, I, you know, I already know what I'm gonna make. I already know what my weight class gonna be, uh, my background. Okay, we got MMA, we have pro athlete, we have indie, we have actor. Really, actor, that's crazy. We're gonna do indie style. For Jin Yuri. Okay, ooh, okay, we got cruiserweight light. Uh, I will make him a cruiserweight. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a light heavyweight for this one. Let's see, striker, technician, high flyer, powerhouse. And before I begin making him, let me give y'all a background of this character. So Jin Yuri is probably my only Japanese wrestler. He wore a mask and he, you know, he did high flying moves like a luchador. Um, not much to him, but uh. Yeah, he's going to be a, a, a guy from Japan, you know, straight from Japan having an American accent in his My Rise. It would have been nice if you can select voices in this game. Hopefully in 23 they'll have that. All right, we're going to do High Flyer for Jin Yuri. I haven't seen the creation suite too many times, I uh, so I usually skip this part. I guess this is just a little, well, as it says in the screen, personas, different attires. For each section, like sports, pass, entertainer. We're gonna do this the custom way. Alright, you guys, I present to you the mystical Jin Yuri. And as y'all can see, he is a high flyer. This is his attire. Um this was similar to his attire in WB2K18. I didn't want it to be too over the top with logos and stuff, so I, I kind of just used what was already in the game. Over time, I might give him more tattoos and Pretty much as he works his way on up, his attire will gradually change. So, but we're gonna start with this. All right, so here we go. Let's get it. So I, I, I try my best not to watch any videos, any my any my rise videos. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've seen thumbnails here and there, so I might, you know, I might have, a, I might, I might can assume what may happen, but I haven't really clicked on any videos related to my rise at all since the game has been out. Cause I wanted to, I wanted to get that experience myself playing a game. So yeah, we finna get it. So this is my first time doing the My Career or My Rise since 2K19. I didn't do the one in 2K20. So I'm really excited about this one. Alright, here we go. You done with all that? Oh, 
<laughs> he got yeah, his mask finished. on. Oh my gosh, he looks so the weird. Designer look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Boy, she got a little, she got a little attitude. She a little feisty. But, oh, guys, I was not expecting him to show <laughs> Jin Yuri's face. I didn't do too much detail to his face with the face paint. It wasn't really done or in its final form. But, hell, well, it's all good. We, 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 finna, we finna get it in. WWE Performance Center. All right, My Rise Hub. This is the My Rise Hub. You can you can discover new storyline opportunities from here by talking to people with this hub, or by replying to pat replying to posts and direct messages in your social media feed. Okay. The amount of fans you have is shown in the top left corner of any hub. You can gain more fans by completing storylines and winning matches. The more fans you have, the more storylines you'll be able to access. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have a notification. Okay, so we have 800 fans. 205 upgrade points. Hector Flores, Paragon, J. Pierce. Okay, let's check out this options menu. All right, so let's go on social media. We may, okay, I see that they have the little green circle on the top left, so we got something on here. Oh, boy. Social media will be a big part of your My Rise. Social media posts appear in your social media feed and blah, blah, blah. Many storylines will kick off with conversations of uh, DMs and user stories. Okay. Messages critical to the store will automatically pop up and any extra story information will be waiting for you in an unread social media post or DMs. Make sure to check social media throughout your My Rise, especially after completing storylines. Alrighty, so we have... Uh, Oh, this shit, this shit like this is Twitter basically. This is low key like Twitter. DMs. Looking forward to having you as a part of the WWE family. I emailed over instructions for your first day of training at the PC. Don't be late for orientation. I leave some extra time for parking and checking in with security. We got social media. Okay. All right. Five new baby lambs. What the hell? <laughs> Liv Morgan. <laughs> the Paragon JP. Never compromise, even when others claim they are worthy of your time. They're not, okay? This, this is legit, low key. Like, wrestlers really be posting this kind of stuff. They be posting little random, I mean, just like everybody else. You, you see random messages, random posts about a pig or a goat or something they ate or little uh, motivational messages and stuff. And t Tassia Tastic. Question for any fellow to be fans Best era. Oh wow, you can actually see people. shit. He got mark for life. That's funny. A mark for life. Alrighty, Corey Clinton. What do we? As head recruiter at the PC, I'm always looking for new talent, in including anyone who is interested in a lucrative career in security. Hit me up. Might have a gig. And Triple H. Just had an all brand meeting with the GMs uh, from NXT, uh, SmackDown, and Raw. Uh, the WWE Universe is in for some exciting stuff uh, for the fans. Oh, okay, they got Regal replying. I see the kids are fighting again. <laughs> and Scrap Daddy AP, is that they're like Sean Pierce? Is that Sean Pierce? Doing God best to deliver this best in sports entertainment, boss. Wow, you're always sucking up. Personally, never have time for it. Too busy managing WWE Raw and making my brand better than yours. Mandy Rose, she she replying like she, 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 she... Is she the GM of Raw in this, in this My Rise or something? What the hell? Alright, attribute upgrades. This is where you can upgrade your superstar. All of your attributes are categorized into different groups with 10 levels to each group. As you finish storylines, you will gain upgrade points that allow you to increase a specific group to higher levels. Okay. Press while. Uh, okay. Right, so we, okay, we starting off at a 75. I was thinking it was gonna be like a 50 or something, but shit, that's higher than I thought. All right, so we got 205 points. Let's uh, let's do the upgrade. My gosh, I didn't realize all those points was gonna move me from a 70 something to 85. God damn. 
Now I could be. I'm not. I can't remember. But I think if you pre-order the game, if you bought the, the the deluxe edition or something, you get you already have, you already start off with some points from my rise or something like that, and that's why you you know you get all those points. I could be wrong. I I don't remember. But um, let's get it. We starting this off at a 85. It's still gonna be challenging regardless because I got the difficulty set the legend, so that's gonna make it even more interesting. All right, y'all. So I just edited my move set in my uh, entrance. I didn't even know you can actually uh, edit the move set in the entrance so soon. Reason why I say that is because when I selected my weight class in the creation suite, there was only a limited amount of things you can use. But as soon as you know you start everything up, you got move, you can you can see the whole, you can view every move in the game. You can view every entrance that's available, all that kind of stuff. But um, hey, uh, let, let's get to. It. I didn't do the victory. I'll do that later. Let's get into it. So we have Hector, we have Paragon, J. Pierce. Hmm. Let's do Paragon, J. Pierce. Let's talk hey. to him. See what's up. Who are you? I'm Jin Yuri. I'm from Japan. It's my first Who day are training you? here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm, I'm from Japan. J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't want your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. Best Japanese wrestler so in the world. Indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's gonna be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm going to take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. Well, damn. I have a lot to learn. <laughs> you're all talk, buddy. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, you do, Paragon. You gonna get that stage, ass kicked. Packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see about that, Paragon. Jinuri never heard of Paragon. Jinuri wrestled in Japan. He's from Japan. He ain't never heard of Paragon. Paragon must have been a no-name. Now we got Hector Flores. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. Thanks. And I'm well aware of who you are. I've watched a lot of your matches online. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. I started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Wait, you didn't have family in the business, did you? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. Soccer is for the week. I chose wrestling too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll I'll take soccer is for the week. Over bicycle kicks any day. Soccer is for the week. I'll choose to ignore that for now. So I heard you trained at Booker T School. What was that like? No, no, no one there was on my level. Booker's, Booker's great. great. Booker's great. He gave me the foundation I needed to make it on the indies, but it was time to take the next step, and that meant coming here. He put in a word for me, and luckily WWE liked what they saw. It must be nice to have that kind of support. It is, but I don't want anyone to think I only got here because of him. I'm going to prove that I earned this. All right, man. Good luck. Yes, sir. So Jin Yuri came from reality of wrestling, low key, you know, because that is Booker T's real life wrestling company. We're just going to pretend Jin Yuri came from reality of wrestling since he was trained by Booker T. Here we go, hub exit icon. Okay, who is that right there? I got like a rip off Matt Riddle, low key. Anyway, uh, let's go. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Chase. Like a fusion between Edge, Matt Riddle, and somebody else. Are you a referee? Thanks. <laughs> Are you a referee? Are you here or... No, man. 
I'm training to be a wrestler. You and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? Memphis? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh, yeah, the Memphis Ribby. minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. That was me. The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Wasn't there a character named Ribby in 20 or 20, I mean 20 or 19? I think it was 20. There was a character named Ribby in the story. I didn't play 20 uh, story, so I'm not really sure. You both deserve to be here. So your lawless charity case. I had some help from Booker You're going to keep it, gonna keep it mixed door. between heel and face. But just remember, neither one of us would be here if we weren't talented. True. Oh, before I forget, can you sign something for me today before you leave? You think I won't be here long? Sure. What's the rush? <laughs> you think I won't be here long? No, it's not like that. I mean, yeah, maybe. But it'd be because you got some big indie match opportunity. Not because you couldn't cut it here or anything. I don't do autographs for mascots. Sorry. Damn. Straight up rejected him. I don't do autographs for mascots. Damn. Alright. It's five times, sicker. Good luck on your first day at the PC. Remember what I taught you since day one. Pay your dues, put in the work, and be respectful in the, uh, of the other students, and especially the coaches at all times. So basically, don't do anything that will make you look bad or blow up for other students from your school getting a shot with WWE. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. And have fun, but not too much fun. You gotta take it seriously, sucker. Don't you think that's what everyone else will be doing? Maybe I should stand out and make a name for myself from day one. Reach out and grab that brass ring, right? Tell me you didn't just say that. Look, you're a grown man. You can do what you want, but don't let me down. I'm going to earn everyone's respect. Let's see. I don't care who I'm I'm going to earn everyone's respect. You are a Hall of Famer, so I'll take your advice. I'm going to keep my head down and earn everyone's respect the hard way. Alrighty. This game really utilized the social media feature compared to the previous games. I don't know how much they utilized it in 20, but compared to 19, they, they're utilizing it heavily in this game. And I'm pretty sure they have been doing that for the past few NBA 2K games. But it's pretty dope. Some A lot of dialogue. I want that Paragon guy. That, that's who I want. I want. I want that Paragon guy. I want to see what he got. What he, what he got up his sleeve. He say he from Japan. He from he he from he from Yuri's domain. I'd like to officially Road welcome our HBK. newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you've heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching not that big man there's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to triple h's office in stamford the coaches and pc staff certainly have input but ultimately he'll decide when the time's right to bring the gm from nxt raw and smackdown here so you can showcase your talents <laughs> okay i'm ready for that now yeah we know you think that but it's not your call Big shot. Big shot. Okay. Now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right. New guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Ooh, oh, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm about to whoop Paragon. Uh, Chase, heck the fuck. Let's do Paragon, bro. He said he wrestled in Japan. He don't know nothing about Japan. Okay. Let's get started. Jiru was in Japan. I 
All right, so uh, let me see. I'm trying to remember what my finisher is and my SIG. So right, that's that's all I did in the move set. I, my finisher is the front flip DDT, and my second finisher is the inverted uh, Phoenix Splash. Now my SIGs, I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I remember back in the day, I used to have a, a running wheel kick as Jinyuri's uh, signature or finisher, but in this game, I got it as his signature. I'm probably going to gradually update his move set moving further. But we just going to stick to what we have for now. It's so much stuff you got to edit and change. And I don't want to waste too much time. I want to get into the action. But at some point, I'm going a, I'm to a completely revamp his moveset. I really wish they didn't remove the advanced entrance creation suite. Because I had, oh man, Jinyuri's entrance in 2K18 was so good. I wish I was able to transfer it. Well, copy and paste the data from that game to this game. Alright, but here we go. Paragon. Get your oh, reverse. Uh-uh, hell no. Uh. Uh, come on. Uh, uh. You ain't got you ain't got you ain't got the juice. I got the juice. You ain't from Japan, cuz. Oh, Paragon got that arm. Oh. Oh, he real he technical. He must got the technical uh type. Mm. Here we go. Paragon, let's get it. Got Shawn Michaels out there alongside, right by Chase. Junior DDT, by gosh. I do have some springboards. Oh, whoa. That failed. <laughs> now that's, that's, whooping, that's whooping in the corner. Here we go. Hurricane around once again. Let's see what springboards we got. I think it's L, B, and B. Here we go. Tope Atomico. Classic. Oh, I got the dirty pen. I ain't gonna hit that though. Nah, we ain't gonna do that yet. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, combo breaker. Oh, kick to the back of Jin Yuri. So I see Paragon has a technical background. Yuri has a high flying background. I haven't really showed that off yet. Oh, well, we have, you know, a few springboards, a few drop kicks here and there. Here we go. Oh, I think that was an arm drag. I didn't even know I had that. Oh, oh, we flying all over. Uh-uh. Here we go, here we go. Jinyuri with the flip bottom on that ass. Oh, got him exactly where I need him. Here we go, boy, gosh. Oh, he put his knees up for the big body splash. Here we go. Oh, I'm about to go for my wheel kick. Oh, you got that. Oh, nice Mashinuku driver. Modified version of it. Oh, Paragon proving the point to Jinyuri. Showing why he's better. Showing why he was well known in Japan for his alleged great matches. And Paragon's on top. Oh, what is this? What is this? Let's go. Nice reversal from Jinyuri. Get your ass up. I got some for you, buddy. Here we go. Wheel kick. Oh. Paragon ate some of it. He didn't, he didn't eat the full thing. And Paragon back to that arm of Yuri. Oh. Okay, I got a finisher. What if I hit that thing uh, now? He needs some more damage. He might kick out. Oh, he was missing either way. I didn't even have to dodge that low key. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Oh, right in the stomach. He got that. He got that all day. Oh, nice rolling senton. Oh, was that a SIG? Kicking out of there. Let's go. Let's go. Get off me. Here we go. See, that's the downfall of being the light heavyweight or a cruiserweight. You get you get that damage real easily. Here we go. Oh, nice suplex power bomb. Oh, we got the finisher now. He getting this. Wait, can I hit it? Oh, I guess I couldn't hit it. Oh, cold break. What about now? Here we go. Here we go. Jinyuri. You going for it, by gosh. He got Jay Paragon where he wants him. Jay, Jay Pierce. Here we go. Flip. Front. DDT, by gosh. One, two. And he kicked out. Oh, wow. All right, since we got Sean watching, you know, and Triple H at the office in Stanford, Connecticut. He probably sitting next to Stephanie since they, you know, they watching or whatever. He going to, uh... Hit this inverted Phoenix Splash. He's going to show off a little bit. No, he busted open. Okay. 
Oh, oh, for some reason I can't hit my finisher. Oh! I'm gonna make sure. Okay, I do have the inverted uh, Phoenix Splash. Maybe I have to, maybe, maybe he had to be a little closer. He was pretty close. He killing my arm. Oh my goodness! Jay, per Jay Pierce ain't playing with that arm. Sean looking all... <laughs> you don't know what to expect. He looking all worried. Oh crap. Oh, that's, hey, that's what's up. You see, see, you see where he's bleeding from? Like the side of his head instead of directly the middle? Okay, they must have uh, modified the blood physics or whatever you call it. That was dope. Right, let's go on top again. Hopefully we could hit our finisher. Here we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Inverted Phoenix Splash. That is How swag. You what? Jay Pierce? What the hell? He, he really must have been about that action in uh, Japan. This man kicking out. Oh no. I asked whoop. Get your hands off me. We go. Oh, got him with the sig. Oh, it's time to end it. It's time to. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Get off. Get off. Get off. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Front flip DDT once again. I'm just noticing Road Dog on the bottom right of the screen. Here we go. Oh, hey, he reversed it. He reversed it. Oh. Oh, another reversal. Oh, I didn't have a middle. Oh, wow. I got that finisher. I don't know what this finisher is. What the, what the hell is this? Oh, crap. We getting out of this. We getting out of this. We getting out of this. Hell no. Nah. I will say, I feel like this new submission system is way easier compared to the one before that was a 19 and 20. I'm liking it so far, though. It's pretty. It's, it's decent. We got the SIG, though. I think. Wait, we do. Okay, yeah. Oh. Let's go! Nice reversal. Now we got the SIG. I have another diving SIG. It's called Wet Time or Wet Nap or something like that. Let's see if we could. Oh, we can't hit it. Okay, that's up. Oh, body splash. Here we go. Wheel kick. One more time. One more time. Hey, oh, I guess he ain't close enough. Like, they, they gotta, they gotta be real close. To, like that, they, they, damn, they, they, you gotta, you gotta be in a really precise location to hit that. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, drop kick. Let's try it again. Maybe he, uh, he's a little closer now. Nope, still not close enough. F it. We gonna pin him off this. That gotta be it right there. One, two. And he kicked out again. Paragon J Pierce. What? What are you? He will not give up. Oh, sunset flip. Nice one. Oh, I tried to drag him. He reversed me. Uh-uh. Hell nah, buddy. I said, hell nah, buddy bulldog. I mean, uh, yeah, DDT. Oh, we got him now. We got him. That's it. Oh, he put the knees up. Hit him right in his chest. He put the goddamn knees up. Oh no! So this is the this is what legend difficulty is, y'all. That's why this match is still going on. Holy moly! Okay, we not close enough for the finisher. I know that for a fact. So I'm gonna go and hit this body splash. Ah, knees up again. Yuri's making that sacrifice. Oh, oh, let's go! Throw his throw his ass off. Oh, oh, got him, got him set up perfectly. Got him set up. Got him exactly where we want him. Is this it? Is, you, you, you got it. Front flip DDT. Five star action right here. Ladies and gents, hit that like and subscribe. This got to be it. One, two, Ain't no way kicking out of three. this. That's it. Okay, Paragon. He really must have wrestled in Japan. He just shocked the hell out of me. He, he, wow. He just proved a point to Jinyuri. What a match. That was some top tier sh Hunter probably in the office watching. That shit uh was amazing. Uh what'd you think about that stuff? Uh hire him, uh promote him, uh
Alignment change. The decisions you made during the storyline have changed your alignment. Okay. I'm not sure what my alignment was before, but my it's green now. I assume that means I'm face. Alright, here we go. Paragon, JP. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's, let's make sure we got no Okay, we ain't got no updates. I assume that little green dot will be on the top left of this thing right here, but let's get into it. Paragon Pierce. That was fun. Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not going to give 100% in a training match against a nobody. A nobody? Boy, you cap, boy. That, that's a lie. You shouldn't be here. Classic excuse. Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? I shouldn't be here either. <laughs> Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. A nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. A oh, bust, God, they call this man a bust. I was watching you, Jin. Uh, I've been watching you since Japan. Uh, you're right, uh, the camera was so me going, you, uh, I want to promote you. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. That was fun. That was a good match. That was actually fun. I really enjoyed that match. I was expecting a one minute, two minute fight. But I guess the difficulty, you know, adjusted some things and it ended up being a little longer. But it was fun. That was a good match. He probably got a little overall compared to the other wrestlers that's in the game, like the you know, the main roster wrestler. So imagine what it's going to be like facing Braun Strowman, uh, uh, Roman Reigns on Legend. That's going to be interesting, and I can't wait.